Hey everybody, today we are shooting a video about the Care Bears from the 1980s. We're also going to briefly discuss um, the Care Bear Cousins, which came out consequently in the movies, and then also uh, some spin-offs and, um, uh, and Disney's Wuzzles. Um, so I'm going to show you some of those toys today. Um, but right now, let's talk about the Care Bears. So they were originally launched in 1982, um, and there were 10 original Care Bears. And I'm going to list them real quick for you. There's the uh, Bedtime Bear, the Birthday Bear, the Cheer Bear, Funshine Bear, Good Luck Bear, Grumpy Bear, Love a Lot Bear, Tender Heart Bear, Wish Bear, and then this one, the Friend Bear. Um, so this is an original plush released by Kenner Toys. Yeah, believe it or not, the same guys that made the uh, vintage Star Wars figures, the very first Star Wars figures. That's who we got there. Um, so yeah, it's a plush toy. Um, and uh, here we go. I think just about everybody was into Care Bears at the time. Um, it was, you know, G.I. Joe's and, it, it, you know, Masters of the Universe, Mask, uh, gosh, you know, She-Ra, you know, the, the typical 80s uh, TV shows. Um, I, uh, you know, everybody was into it. I mean, I had Care Bears. My friends had Care Bears. Um, and we all watched the TV show. So, um, but before the TV show, there was three special TV movies, um, made. Um, and then, you know, each Care Bear came in a different color. Um, you know, with a specialized symbol on their, on their tummy. And let me just show you that. Right there. Okay, um, and it, it represented its duty and personality. So it's also known as their tummy symbol. So the, each each one of the Care Bears would have like a special power. You know, one of them would be able to instantly make you feel better, um, you know, or if you're hurt or anything like that. So each each one of them had like special powers, and and that was really neat um, and really appealing um, to everybody watching it. So uh, so this is yeah the friend bear. Let me just show you the box a little bit. This is how they came originally, and they still released them as toys. They came out with different series in the 2000s. Um, here we go. So the carton is actually in, in great shape. It's got a couple of nicks and scuffs, but that's okay. There we go. Again, see, kind of toy assemble. Okie doke. And what does it say there? You can make any day really special by giving someone of the soft cuddly Care Bears because Care Bears are a perfect way of sharing your special feelings. Yes they are. There we go. Okay. So there's Care Bear. Uh, one of the originals. That's the friend bear. Okay. Let's move on to... There you go. That's one of the Care Bear cousins. And this is Brightheart Raccoon. So the Care Bear Cousins first appeared in the first Care Bear movie in 1985. Um, this is Brightheart Raccoon. He's one of the smartest of the cousins. He's kind of the intelligent thinker and inventor, kind of like Donatello was for the Ninja Turtles. Um, and he was usually paired up with Grumpy Bear, who shared similar interests. Uh, so yeah, you know, that's, that's the Brightheart Raccoon, um, one of the Care Bear Cousins. They appeared only in the movies, not on the TV show. I believe he, he amongst other cousins, lived in the forest. Um, and these were usually non-bear, uh, creatures or animals. As you can see, here's another one. It's the logo of the Care Bear Cousins. I forget his name. That's a lion. There you go. Also released by Kenner. And this is what the box looks like. Still sealed, so he's still attached right there, you can see. Um, there you go. Pretty cool. And here, just on the artwork, you can see it depicts like he's the idea guy. Smarty pants. Okay. Um, so, as you notice with the original Care Bear figure, you see how it's kind of like has this backboard? The Care Bear Cousins did not come with it, so it's okay. You don't have to have the backboard. It's it, it doesn't mean that it's incomplete or anything like that. Um, and here it came with a little paperwork, a little um, manual or or a little catalog that's attached. There you go. Okie doke. All right, let's move on to uh, the wuzzles. So here we go. 
And this is the probably the most recognizable Wuzzle out there because he's the main character. Um, <clears throat> that's Bumble Line. So the Wuzzles were released by Disney, also in 1985. Um, you know, their the, the TV show actually. I'm just going to show you the card real quick. There you go. Uh, came with a book, so they won up the Care Bears, right? Um, so, you might recognize these from Saturday Morning TV. They also came out in 1985. Uh, the Wuzzles, uh, which really means like a, a mixture. Uh, Bumble Line um, was a hybrid of two different animals, uh, along with all the other Wuzzles. But Bumble Line was half Bumblebee, half Lion. Um, he's mostly Lion in appearance. Uh, he's short, um, kind of squat orange furred creature with a pink mane, as you can see. Uh, very... Fabulous. Uh, so he had a fuzzy antenna, as you can see right here. Uh, he had a lion's tail, which you can't see because he's packed. Uh, he's got like small little insect wings. Let's see if we can kind of sort of see them. Yeah, you can. Can you see them right there? There you go. They're tucked behind. Okay, and um, horizontal uh, brown stripes um, along his tummy. Uh, so he lived in a beehive. Like sports, is courageous, um, has a crush on Butterbear. Um, he's said to be the sword who rushes in where angels fear to tread. Uh, so supposed to be courageous. He and Elaru are best friends. So that is Bumble Lion. There you go. And uh, Bumble Lion, and along with all the other uh, Wuzzles, were released by Hasbro Toys. Um, in this case, and I'm going to show you Hasbro Softies. See, there's a the logo right there. And there's a the book. And Bumble Lion. We're going to take a closer look at Bumble Lion. There you go. So it's important with uh, plushes. If, if I'm talking to somebody that's potentially looking to sell theirs. Um, odor free is extremely important. Collectors are not huge fans of plush animals. But when they are... Make sure, pet, not necessarily pet free, but but smoke free home is super important. Um, so don't smoke at home, you shouldn't be smoking anyways, but I'm not gonna, whatever. Uh, you know, odor is important. You know, also, a basement that was flooded at some point is not good. An attic that um, the toy has been sitting in for, you know, a, a couple of decades, also not good. Plushes are not desirable if they have any odors. Very important to remember any stains, any kind of mold or anything like that. Please don't even try, not cool. Um, they're not really worth much if, if, if they're not very well taken care of. Okay, this one is still in the packaging. It's got a little condition issues as far as, um, you know, the box storage goes. But that's Ella Rue right there. Butterbear, Bumble Line. Elaru is Bumble Line's best friend, and Bumble Line had a crush on Butterbear. <laughs> hope, hope that's all covered. And let's look at some other characters. That's Rhino Key, and we got Moozle, and Hopopotamus. And I'm guessing that's a mix between a hippo and a rabbit. Uh, Moose and... don't know. Leave a comment below, let me know. And that's got to be a rhino and a monkey. Okie doke. Alright, let's see. Okay, yeah. And, uh, yeah, obviously released by Walt Disney. So, yeah, guys. So, this was a little synopsis here of um, some of the plush Care Bear type. Care Bears and Care Bear Cousins. And then the Wuzzles, which were a Care Bear type um, plush toy and TV series from the 1980s. I uh, really hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please like it. Uh, leave us a comment below if you have any questions. And yeah, just, you know, do you remember playing with these toys? You know, uh, and any memories, anything like that, just please share them with us below, okay? Um, hope to talk to you guys soon.